today's lecture is about dihedral groups from the group theory broadly from algebra and uh, one question has already come in ts set examination and this lecture is suitable for ts set ap set jl dl gate jam and net aspirants also we first define what is a dihedral group before that the dihedral groups have lot of applications especially in group theory geometry and chemistry also these dihedral groups are having applications what is a dihedral group a dihedral group d suffix n dn is the group of symmetries of a regular n gun here we have shown you a regular pentagon that is 5 gun and these symmetries about their axis are abstractly shown here right a regular n gun can be rotated or reflected in a in an axis to get back n gun so let r be the rotation by the angle 2 pi by n in the case of n gun we take 2 pi by n let s be the reflection about an axis in dn so r represents a rotation by an angle 2 pi by n and s represents a reflection in dn then r is a rotation by an angle 2 pi by n if you rotate n times r power n will be the identity it will get back to the same n gun and in a reflection means s square will be e but why because it is a reflection 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 two times if you do it it will be the identity it will get back to the original further the relationship between r and s is rs is equal to sr inverse it is equivalent to sr is equal to r inverse s also that we will talk about the next one later right that is the r and s they together generate the elements of dn therefore they are the generators of dn and the equations r power n is equal to e s square is equal to e rs is equal to sr inverse are the defining relations of these generators so these are called the defining relations for dn right dn is generated by r comma s where r power n is e and s square is equal to e rs is equal to sr inverse so in the next slide we'll see what are the elements and how many elements are there we will see right so for our purpose here is dn the defining relations are there and uh, dn elements are here so now each element of dn is uniquely written in the form s power j r power i for some j is equal to 0 1 and 0 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n minus 1 right j takes only two values 0 and 1 because it is a reflection and it is a rotation by 2 pi by n and angles so therefore yeah, i will take 0 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n minus 1 and uh, each element is uniquely written in this form is uniquely written in this form so how the elements will look like when j is equal to 0 it is r power i when j is equal to 1 is is s r power i i is equal to 0 1 2 3 n minus 1 and the defining relations as it is 
and that means r power i zero less than equal to one to one less than equal zero less than equal to one less than equal to n minus one will give you e r power zero is e r r square r to the power of n minus one and then yes yes r Yes, r square. Yes, r to the power of n minus one. So these uh, all these reflections it can be thought of as a, a right coset, uh, as a left coset of these uh, the, the, this group cyclic group of order n, you know, generated by r. So you can think of this as a as a left coset of this one, right? So these are the elements. So these are the elements which are already there with you. So now, r power i. So who are these r power i's? They are rotations. For i is equal to zero to zero, one to three up to n minus one. They are rotations. And who are these? Yes, s r, s r square, s r to the power of n minus one. They are the reflections. So how many rotations are there? N n rotations are there. And how many reflections are there? N reflections are there. So in total, how many elements d n will have? Two n elements. Ah, great. So, and uh, what are the orders of this r power i? The odd order of r power i is equal to n by the GCD of i comma n. And and uh, it, the order of s r to the power of i, s r to the power of i is a reflection. So the order will be naturally reflection means two only. And uh, further, the inverse of r power i is r power n minus i. And the inverse of s r power i is s r power i only. This is understandable because this, the order is two. The order is two. So these elements you have to remember. Remember, and uh, we continue. We continue. This is the same uh, discussion as we did in the last slide. But in this case, the each element is uniquely written as r power i into s power j. There. S power j into r power i. Uh, here r power i into s power j. J is equal zero one, and zero less than equal i less than equal n minus one. So d n will be the elements are r power i and r power i s, and i takes the values zero one to three n minus one, and uh, then in the, and the de defining relations are r power n is equal to identity s square is identity s r is equal to this time yes s r is equal to r inverse s. This is changed because of this, because of this, and uh, you, you will have uh, the rotations here, n rotations. These are the reflections. Yes, yes, R S R square S. Now it is the it is the right coset now, the right coset of this one, and uh, R power I are the rotations, and uh, these uh, R power I S yes, are reflections, and the orders are say order of R power I S is. Same as two because it's a reflection, and uh, further the inverses are here. The inverse of any reflection is the same reflection. So that is what. So here the representation is changed. The representation of elements is changed. But uh, we use that 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 representation and this representation sometimes also. Agreed. What are the properties? The properties of dn are the first property is uh, uh, the elements. How many elements of uh, dn are there? So we will say dn is a non-abelian group of order 2n. So 2n elements are there. 2n elements are there, and uh, this 2n elements for any n for any n is equal to 1, 2, 3, so on, so forth. D1, D2, D3, and all that they will have 2n elements. And in the case of n greater than or equal to three, d n is a non-abelian group of order two power two n, two n. In the case of d one and d two, they are abelian groups. In the case of d one, so it is a, a dihedral group with two elements, and that is uh, isomorphic to z two, z two. And d two is uh, d two is uh, it has four elements, and it is isomorphic to z two cross z two. Which is isomorphic to K4, the uh, Klein's four group. So D2. So in the case of D1 and D2, they are the abelian groups. For all n greater than or equal to three, they are non-abelian groups of order 
2n. Now the set of all rotations e r r square r to the power of n. So if you take r and generate then r, r will generate these all these elements and that will be a cyclic group of order n. So and uh, zn it is a cyclic group order n and zn is also a cyclic group order n therefore any two finite any two cyclic groups of finite finite order they are isomorphic therefore zn is isomorphic to the cyclic group generated by r agreed agreed the number of elements of order 2 so if when n is odd yes sr yes, sr square sr yes, to the power of n minus 1 they are all reflections all reflections of r of order 2 in the case of n is odd they will be only this thing but in the case of n is even not only this n there is one more element that you can see what is that element that is r to the power of n by 2 when n is even when n is even r to the power of n by 2 its square is also identity that means it is of order 2 so in the case of when n is even it will be n plus 1 in the case of when n is odd all of them are reflections n reflections in the case of when n is even n plus 1 n reflections plus one more one more one more element of order 2 that is one rotation that is r to the power of n by 2 so you have to remember this when n is odd the elements of order 2 in dn is n when n is even the elements of order 2 in dn is n plus 1 you have to remember for each k belong divides n for each k divides n dn has a cyclic group of order k now suppose k is k is 2 then dn has a cyclic group of order 2 so all every every reflection generates a cyclic group of order 2 when k is not 2 when k is not 2 then the element must come from the rotations from the rotations and uh, for each k dividing n dn has a cyclic group of order k and that is uh, r power n by k n by k that is the generator of that one and uh, it will have a cyclic subgroup cyclic group of order k from rotations from rotations the number of elements of order 2 we have already enumerated number of elements of order k not equal to 2 in dn so we have an element whose order is not 2 so that element must be a rotation and uh, element of order k means it is a cyclic group of order k but whereas this is also a cyclic group of order n generated by r so how many cyclic how many cyclic subgroups of order k will be there that will be phi of k where k divides n where phi of k is the eyelets phi function and when k not dividing n when k not dividing n there are no elements of order k not equal to 2 so it is 0 so you have to remember this one you have to remember this and z dn z of dn is center of dn center of dn is set of all those elements of dn which will commute the set of all those set of all those elements of dn which will commute with every element of dn and when n is odd it is a trivial when n is even it is e comma r to the power of n by 2 that is the group generated by two elements this is the two elements right 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 so you have to remember this and uh, the order of z the center of dn is 1 when n is odd it is 2 when n is even yes we continue in the next slide right now how many 
subgroups are there in dn the total number of subgroups in dn is given by tau of n plus sigma of n what is this tau of n tau of n is the number of positive divisors of n that means you take n write its prime factorization and find out how many number of positive divisors of n are there and sigma n denotes the sum of the sum of that is the number now it is the sum of positive divisors of n and uh, we have formula for this and i will tell you that if n is the prime factorization of n is p1 to the power of a1 p2 to the power of a2 etc multiplied by p to the power of uh, p, p k a k a p k to the power of a k p1 to the power of a1 p2 to the power of a2 multiplied by p k to the power of a k where p1 p2 p k are distinct primes then tau of n is the number of positive divisors of n and that is given by the formula a1 plus 1 multiplied by a2 plus 1 multiplied by a k plus 1 yes those of you who know the number theory you are familiar with this formula and sigma n is the sum of the positive divisors of n this is the number now whereas this is the sum you can count when n is a small number sum of the positive positive divisors you can compute when you know the number of positive divisors their sum you can find out when n is a small number small small numbers if n is big one then you have to use this formula p1 to the power of a1 plus 1 minus 1 by p1 minus 1 multiplied by p2 to the power of a2 plus 1 minus 1 by p2 minus 1 multiplied by etc pk to the power of ak plus 1 minus 1 by pk p pk minus 1 so you to remember this formula and those of you who are familiar with the number theory they they know these two formulae now we got the total number of subgroups of dn and how many of how many cyclic subgroups of order dn are there in dn how many cyclic subgroups are there it is given by tau of n plus n this is tau of n coming from rotations these are the cyclic subgroups of the cyclic sub generated by r this n n is the cyclic subgroup order 2 they are they are coming from the reflections n reflections will produce n cyclic subgroups and uh, tau of n number of uh, tau of n will be there that that they will be coming from rotations the number of this is very important number of normal subgroup of dn so out of this tau n plus sigma n subgroups how many of them are normal subgroups the formula is when n is odd tau of n plus 1 when n is even tau of n plus 3 you have to remember when n is odd tau of n plus 1 when n is even tau of n plus 3 right now we have come to the end of the discussion of the theory part the class equation of dihedral groups the class equation of dn is order of dn that is 2n is equal to 1 plus n always 1 will be there and when n is odd 1n will be there plus the remaining are all twos how many n minus 1 by 2 times right so 1 1n and the remaining are all two they are n minus 1 by 2 times when n is odd when n is even 2n is equal to instead of 1 1 plus 1 that is uh, in the center they will, you will have two elements right plus n by 2 plus n by 2 agreed plus the remaining are all twos how many n minus 2 by 2 n minus 2 by 2 Two's will be there when n is even. You have to remember these things. Very important, and the questions are coming on this. Right. The number of 
conjugate classes in dn can now be computed very easily by seeing this one by seeing this one how it is uh, this is one class one this is another class one and all these each one is a class so n minus 1 by 2 classes are there so 1 plus 1 plus n minus 1 by 2 classes when added it is n plus 3 by 2 if n is odd now in the case of when n is even the number of conjugate classes will be this is in one class this is another class n by 2 another class another class four classes and and n minus 2 by 2 classes each will have two agreed that means uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 n minus 2 by 2 when you simplify it will be n plus 6 by 2 and uh, that is uh, if n is even if n is even n plus 6 by 2 and by looking at this also you can talk about you can talk about this one by so the number of conjugacy classes in dn will have a formula n plus 3 by 2 if n is odd n plus 6 by 2 when n is even right the theory part is over let's now look at the problems right so before entering into the discussion of the problems so let us now list out some of all the properties the those properties what we have studied in a tabular form here and uh, dn so for you i brought a table dn is here n we will write prime factorization of n then compute tau of n the number of positive divisors of n sigma of n the sum of the positive divisors of n the number of subgroups what is the formula we have learned tau of n plus sigma n and uh, the elements of order 2 how many n when n is odd n plus 1 when n is even number of subgroups number of subgroups so we have the formula for that order of z to z of the center of dn is is 1 when n is odd 2 when n is even the class equation we know how to write and from that the number of conjugacy classes you can write so first let us say n is 3 prime factorization is 3 power 1 top n will be 1 plus 1 2 and uh, for 3 how many factors are there 1 comma 3 2 factors that is 2 factors 1 plus 3 the sum of the positive divisors of 3 1 plus 3 that is 4 so tau of n plus sigma of n number of subgroups will be 6 there will be 6 subgroups for dn right and uh, the number of elements of order 2 what is n n is odd when n is odd number of elements is n only the number of subgroups the number of subgroups will be tau of n tau of n plus 1 because n is equal to 3 is odd tau of n plus 1 when n is odd when n is even tau of n plus 3 so order of zn n is odd it is 1 the class equation is 3 3 times 2 times 3 6 is equal to 3 3 is odd when 3 is odd 1 1 will be there n 3 will be there the remaining are all 2's how many n minus 1 by 2 that is 3 minus 1 by 2 that is 2 by 2 1 2 so it will be this only how many classes are there 1 2 3 you can also use your formula right right now next n is equal to 4 prime factorization is 2 square so 2 to the power of p1 to the power of a1 so 
tau of n number of divisors is 2 plus 1 3 2 plus 1 3 number of divisors so for 4 what are the divisor what are the divisors three divisors are there what are they 1 2 4 what is the sum 1 plus 2 plus 4 7 for small orders you can do like this but for big numbers I have given the formula so you have to use the formula so the number of subgroups are tau of n plus sigma of n that is 3 plus 7 10 subgroups are there the number of elements of order 2 is n plus 1 when n is even 4 plus 1 5 and uh, the number of normal subgroups will be tau n tau of n plus 3 because n is even so 3 plus 3 6 and uh, n is 4 which is even so the center is 2 and the class equation is 2 4 are 8 it's even when it is even two ones will be there 1 plus 1 and then n by 2 n by 2 4 by 2 4 by 2 that is 2 plus 2 and the remaining are all 2's how many n minus 2 by 2 that is 4 minus 2 4 minus 2 by 2 huh? 4 minus 4 minus 2 is 2 by 2 and that will be the, the they will be there so how many 2 6 2 plus 2 this is not correct this is not correct this is not correct this plus 2 is not there only 1 2 will be there 1 2 will be there so this is uh, this is not there this is not there how many how many conjugacy classes will be there 1 2 3 4 5 5 conjugacy classes are there so so now so now we go to the next one that is 5 that is 5 so it will be 5 means prime factorization is 5 and the power is 1 only 1 plus 1 2 and uh, for 5 what are the divisors 2 divisors they are 1 and 5 sum is 1 plus 5 6 so tau of n plus sigma n number of sub subgroups will be 2 plus 6 is 8 now 5 is uh, odd number of elements of order 2 is 5 only n only number of subgroups number of normal subgroups is tau of n tau of n plus 3 because tau of n plus 1 tau of n plus 1 because odd right and ZDN, N is odd, N is 5 is odd, 1. And now class equation. Class equation is 2 5s are 10, N is odd, so 1 plus 5, the remaining are all 2s. 1 plus 5 is 6, 2 2s will be there. And the number of conjugacy classes is 1, 2, 3, 4. Like that. So, like that, uh, you will write for 6, for 7, right, for 8. So, I will talk about 8, let us say, Z8. It is 2 cube, and uh, 2 cube means tau of n, tau of n, the power is 3, 3 plus 1, 4, and uh, sigma n is 15 for 8 what are the divisors 1 2 4 1 2 4 8 the sum is 15 or else you use the formula 
and the number of subgroups are tau n plus sigma n that is 4 plus 15 19 the number of elements of order 2 n is 8 even therefore n plus 1 9 and the number of normal subgroups so tau of n plus 3 that is 7 and the order of the center n is even so it is 2 so class equation 2 8s are 16 is equal to n is even so there will be two ones 1 plus 1 n by 2 8 by 2 plus 8 by 2 4 4 2 fours and the remaining are twos and this how many conjugacy classes are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 seven conjugacy classes are there so that is the story of dihedral groups up to the order 8 right we move to the next slide now this is the question the question has come in ts set examination held on held in the month of october in the year 2023 from the section algebra on dihedral groups this question bears a question number 78 and the question id is this one agreed now the question is the number of distinct conjugate classes of the dihedral group d5 this is already there in the earlier table also but anyway we will show you how to answer that so we are given four options right so and the solution is we have the class equation of dn the class equation of dn is order of dn that is 2n is equal to 1 plus n plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 n minus 1 by 2 times when n is odd because uh, d5 n is uh, 5 so now the class equation for d5 will be 2n 2 5s are 10 1 plus n is 5 plus 2 2 2 two. how many times 5 minus 1 by 2 times 5 minus 1 is 4 4 by 2 is 2 two times so 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 so there's a class equation from this class equation you can say the number of conjugate classes it is 1 2 3 4 so therefore you can talk you can say from this it follows that the number of distinct conjugate classes of d5 is 4 or else you can you can you can use the formula the number of conjugate classes in dn is n plus 3 by 2 if n is odd n plus 6 by 2 if n is even so now n is odd it is 5 plus 3 by 2 that is 4 so thus we got the answer the answer to this question is option 2 so we see 4 against option 2 therefore the answer to this question is option 2 agreed we move to the next question that is an example 1 which of the following statements is true so the first option is uh, no two statements we are saying this is the statement a the statement a states the number of conjugacy classes of d 30 is 18 statement b the number of conjugacy class of d 2023 is 1000 one 1013 10 13 and we are given four options these options are related to which of these states these statements are true so so a is true b is false a is false b is true both a and b are true neither a nor b is true right this is primarily the same question what we have done earlier so for d30 how many conjugacy classes are there 
so that's the question so we have n here prime factorization class equation number of conjugacy classes now for n is equal to 30 for n is equal to yes we have those formulae with us so this is only i am prompting you so now take uh, n is equal to 30 prime factorization is not needed the class equation we will write directly so n is uh, 30 which is even which is even means uh, 1 plus 1 2 1s will be there n by 2 30 by 2 30 by 2 2 30 by 2 will be there 15 15 plus uh, the remaining are all 2s will be there that is uh, 14 times it will be there why it is n minus 2 by 2 n is 30 30 minus 2 uh, that is uh, 28 28 by 2 that is 14 14 twos will be there right so how many conjugacy classes will be there 1 2 3 4 plus 14 that is 18 conjugacy classes will be there right so talk about 2023 and we don't require prime factorization and uh, the class equation is 2n that is 4046 is equal to 2023 n is odd then in that case we will have 1 1 plus n that is 2023 plus n minus 1 by 2 times of 2's will be there so 2 plus 2 plus 2 n minus 1 by 2 that is n is 2023 minus 1 2022 by 2 that is 1011 twos will be there so how many conjugacy class are there 1 2 plus 1011 that is 1013 so that means uh, statement a says the number of conjugacy classes in D13, D30 is 18. In D2023 is 1013. Both, the, both of them are true. So both the statements are true. So therefore our answer to this question is both the both A and B are true. That is option 3 is true. So that's how the questions can, can come. So let go, let's go into example 2 example 2 which of the following statements is false so we are given four statements first one is number of cyclic subgroups are in d100 of order 25 is 20 statement 2 number of elements not equal to 2 in d100 is 99 right option 3 number of subgroups in d100 which are not normal is 15 option 4 number of subgroups in d100 is 22 right so let's now discuss the number of elements of order k not equal to 2 in dn is phi of k the Euler's phi function when k divides n and it is 0 when k does not divide n but in our option 1 we want of order 25 that means k is equal to 25 it is given to us so the number of elements of order k is equal to 25 in dn is by the above formula phi of k that is phi of 25 25 is 5 square and the Euler's phi function is phi square into 1 minus 1 by 5 that is phi square 25 into 4 by 5 that is 20 that is 20 so your option 1 is true option 1 is true agreed so now let's go to the table table here 
n prime factor and, and all this we have written now we take uh, n is 100 n is 100 the prime factorization is 2 square into 5 square so it is uh, 2 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 that is 9 and use the sigma n formula 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 into 5 to the power of 3 minus 1 by 5 minus 1. When you compute, you will get 18. Sigma n. So the number of subgroups is tau of n plus sigma of n 27. Option 4. The number of subgroups of D and D is 22 is wrong. Is wrong. And you have to find out that statement which is false. This is false. And you need not go still further. But anyway, let us have a discussion. Discussion. Right. The number of elements of order not equal to 2 in D100. How many elements of order 2 are there? It is n plus 1 because n is even. So 101 are there. 101 are there. So the total number of elements are 200. And 200 minus 101 will give you 99. And that will be the number of elements of order not equal to 2 will be 99. Yeah, option 2 is also true. Now, the number of subgroups is 27. Number of normal subgroups is tau of n plus 3 because n is even. That is 3 plus 9 plus 3, 12. So, total number of subgroups 27 minus number of normal subgroups 12 then the out will be 27 minus 12 will be 15 that will be the number of subgroups which are not normal so 1 2 3 are true 4 is not true so the answer to this question is option 4 it is not 2 it is not It is not a 2, it is 4. The option is changed. So, option is this one. Right. So, we move to the next question. Next question. So, we will go to example 3. What is the example 3? Let S is equal to the set of all X belongs to D15 such that x to the power of 6 is identity. Then what is the order of S? How many elements are there in S? We are given 4 options. So now, so S is what? The set of all those elements x belongs to D15, the diagonal group of our 15, D15, such that x to the power of 6 is equal to identity x to the power of 6 is equal to identity means order of x must divide 6. So, all those elements x belongs to D15 such that order of x must divide 6. When order of x divides 6, what will be the order of x? The divisors of 6. What are order of x is 1, 2, 3 or 6. This we will write it as the union of 4 sets. S1 union S2 union S3 union S4. What is S1? What is S1? S1 is uh, S1 is set of all those elements x belongs to D15 such that order of x is equal to 1. S2 will be all those elements in that order of x is equal to 2. And S3 will be all, the, all those elements whose order is 3. S4 is order 6. So that is why n of s will be n of s, s is equal to S1 union S2 union S3 union S4. They are Pairwise disjoint, n of s will be the n of s1 plus n of s2 plus n of s3 plus n of s4. So that is the strategy which I want to follow. Right. n of s will be sum of all of them. Right. First of all, let us go to the first one. x belongs to d15 such that order of x is equal to 1. How many elements will be there? Order of x is 1. Only one, that is the identity. 
x is equal to identity. Therefore, n of s1 is 1 only. Right. And uh, x belongs to d15 such that order of x is 2. Order of x is equal to 2. So, how many elements of order 2 are there in dn when n is odd? It is n only. So, it is n only. The number of elements of order 2 in d15 is 15 only. Since n is equal to 15 is odd. Who are, who are these uh, order 2 elements? They are 15 reflections. Therefore, n of s2 is 15. Right. Now, let us move to s3. x belongs to d15. Order of x is equal to 3. Now, we remember we remember the number of elements of order k is equal to 3 in d15 is phi of k when k divides 15 right phi of 3 phi of 3 is 3 is prime 3 minus 1 that is equal to therefore n of s3 is 2 agreed x belongs to d15 order of x is equal to 6 that is d15 has a cyclic subgroup of order 6 that means uh, the order the, the cyclic of order 6 means by Lagrange theorem, 6 must divide d15. It is not. Therefore, the number of elements, there are no elements whose order is 6. So, that is the argument or you can also, there is a rotation of order 6 and this is not true. You better you say d15 as a cyclic subgroup of order 6 by Lagrange's theorem, 6 must divide 15, but it is not. Therefore, there is no element whose order is 6 in D15. Therefore, no element of D15 is of order 6 and n of S4, n of S4 is 0. So, now n of S1, n of S is equal to the sum of all of them, n of S1 plus n of S2 plus n of S3 plus n of S4. n of S1 is 1, n of S2 is 15, n of S3 is 2, n of S4 is 0. The sum is 18. So, 18 is appearing against option 2. The answer to this question is option 2. And uh, that is the detailed discussion of the dihedral groups that arise in algebra, that arise in group theory from the section algebra. And in this uh, lecture, I have first of all talked about dihedral groups and their properties and the various results that are available on dihedral groups. Then we have, we have answered the question that has come in the TS set 2023 exam. And then I have provided three examples, the possible three examples these models can occur in the exam in future and uh, I am sure that uh, you have understood the discussion, you understood the solutions of all the problems and uh, I have been you know preparing videos related to JE mains and uh, TSAT, CSIR net examination and uh, if you like my videos, I request you please like, share and subscribe. I wish you all the best. Thank you.